and welcome back to another edition of the Rigged Match where this weekend, once again, we're heading off for Betfred Cup action as Dunfermline take on St Mirren at St Mirren Park or the Simple Digital Arena. In the last official game of the SPFL 2018-19 season, we were at St Mirren Park or the Simple Digital Arena to take in the playoff final between Dundee United and St Mirren and it would be the Saints to come out on top on that day. We now head back to the same venue today for one of the first games of the 2019-20 season. Both teams have had quite the upheaval this summer in terms of both management for St Mirren and players for both teams. So without further ado, I'll now hand you over to the match day coverage, live from St Mirren Park, or once again, the simple digital arena. Bring on the action! It's a Dunfermline kind of day and we're back with the score predictions again obviously we done ones yesterday and there wasn't that many but actually we've got more than usual today, we've got five and I think they all support different clubs if I'm right in saying that so it'll be interesting to see what they all think. So here's what they had to say. So my prediction for the St Mirren vs Dunfermline Athletic match on Sunday is 2-1 to St Mirren. Uh, I do think that the Fairman have um, improved, so it seems, from last season. I think they'll have too much for the Pals. My prediction for the St Mirren versus Dunfermline game on Sunday is 2-1 St Mirren. I think Danny Millen and uh, Paul McGinn will get the goals for St Mirren with Kevin Nisbet scoring for Dunfermline. My prediction for the game against St Mirren is 2-1 Dunfermline with Turner and Nisbet to score. Purely because of how good we've looked in pre-season and I think at the end of the day that'll be too much for St Mirren to handle. I know it'll be tricky but I reckon we can just edge it. JYP. My prediction for today's game against St Mirren v Dunfermline. I'm going to go for a 2-1 Dunfermline win. Just think Dunfermline's got a good quality in their team this season so I'm going to go for a 2-1 win for Dunfermline. For the St Mirren and Dunfermline game, I think it'll be a hard game, both teams will be wanting it, but I think St Mirren will come out on top and win 2-0. I think Tony Andrew and uh, Kyle McGuinness will get the goal for St Mirren. And then the like target. Again, yesterday I set it as 80 and I'm going to do the same again because we're just settling back into the big match and you need to set it very high just yet. So, 80 likes, go for it again lads. Jenny, do you want to do it? Do you want to do it? Do you want to do it? Do, do your thing. <laughs> <laughs> well lads, East End Park is just across there, we're awake at the supporters bus and I've got to say I am absolutely buzzing to go to the day's game. Get food for the bus. Buzzing for the game, buzzing for the game. They're never at games. Score prediction. 3-0 pars. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Don't listen to her. On the pars though, on the pars, always. Season 2019-20, this is where it begins.
Jesse Ryan. Go on! Oh. What are I came here? A set! Go! Go, Tom! Get it clear! 
start to the competitive season eh? you really can't ask for a better start than that in terms of a genuine game of football it's exactly what we've all missed when you think about when the football season ends and then when it begins again that's the type of game that as a neutral considering it was on telly I'm assuming a lot of you would have enjoyed that game if you managed to watch it on BT Sport and seriously even though for my end the second half was so nerve wracking and frustrating Compared to the first half, which was full of just happiness and all that, you can see how that's like. That's why we love football. It's just, it gives you every single emotion, and it's all so raw at the time, and you're, you get over it sort of as soon as you leave the stadium, and it's funny. But it's exactly why we love the sport, and I'm just so glad that we did get the result today because it wouldn't feel as great at all. Even if we'd went on and won the bonus point and penalties, the three points is what I wanted and the three points is what we got. It's been a good weekend, a good opening weekend for the competitive football coming back and I can't wait for more to come. And to round off a pretty much perfect day, I was featured on the telly. We BT Sport. Get in there. Cheers to Bailey for sending me that in. But that's it for this video guys, cheers for watching. If you did enjoy it, please give it a like. Comment down below what you thought of the game. I imagine a lot of you watched it and you'll have an opinion on it so let me know what you think and subscribe for more of this type of content and until the next video i'll see you then cheers guys